Hey guys, and welcome back to Pocket Rocket Radio, where today I am going to play Vampire Survivors, which is a game I've heard a lot of hype about, and uh, it's got vampires, so it's piqued my interest. Anybody that knows me knows I love me some vampires, because as you all know, I am a creature of the night. Vampires are my spirit animal. Vampires and walruses are totally relatable states of existence. I don't know what this game is. The interface is totally retro, totally indie, totally cool. I dig it. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to start the game, see what happens. I will pick. I'm Antonio. Antonio Banderas. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. Bel Paese. That's even cooler. It'd be kind of weird if this was Antonio Banderas. Bel Paese. That's a sick name. I will, I will crack you with my weed. All right, which I got to add an accent for dramatic effect. There we go. Playing us some Vampire Survivors, woo! Oh yeah. I mean, since I'm playing a game about vampires, I got to drink some wine. I'm drinking wine right now because it's what vampires drink in all the movies. I don't know if vampires actually have a taste for wine or if they just drank wine because like they're old. Oh my God, I leveled up. You know what this reminds me of? This is totally like a mobile game where it's like you log in and then you like touch a button. They're like, congratulations, here's a thousand rupees. Keep playing, spend money. It's like, this is how they get you. They make it easy in the beginning. I already leveled up. I just walked around a little bit. Do I want a whip, a magic wand or some water? God, that's, wands are for pussies. Waters, I'm not thirsty yet. I'm gonna take a whip because I'm gonna whip me some fools. Okay. Actually, magic wands are sick. Because I like anime about magic girls, and they always, like, fuck shit up with their magic wands. Here we go, yeah. Now, this, uh, this is an interesting-looking game here. <clears throat> I'm fighting uh, some kind of winged birds that are flapping in place. They're not really flying. They're just sort of levitating. These are levitating creatures. I'm just going to assume they have magic powers and they're just following me around because they love me so much because <laughs> I'm such a swell guy. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything besides like move around. I think this is like one of those games with like really simple controls that are like really clever. Like they're simple when you just pick them up but you don't see all the genius mechanics behind them. It's, it's what you do in between the movements. It's, it's how you time your attacks that matters. This game is like so, so indie. It is so clever. What are these zonked out dudes following me? You know, like when I see these creatures, I just imagine their voice is like, Amanda, bro. Hey, yo, what's up? Ye ye. You know what those guys are? Those guys, they look like SoundCloud rappers, right? Like, oh, just pop some Zanny, man. You check out my new beats on SoundCloud. They're fire, yo. Know? These, they're so lit, ye. Yeah, the, these are just the obnoxious ass white SoundCloud rappers from the suburbs trying to act cool as fuck. <laughs> trying to talk about, they pop some zaddy on auto tune. Oh, what the hell? What was that? It's because I insulted the SoundCloud rappers. The auto tune SoundCloud rapper cult, they just had enough of my nonsense. They had to come at me and put me in my place. Whoa, I leveled up again. All I had to do was walk around. You know what, this time, I think I'm going to try the Santa water. I don't want to know how Santa made that water, what type of fluid is in that jar. I'm hoping Mrs. Claus wasn't involved, whatever perversion is afloat here. I'm glad Mrs. Claus and Santa. Why is it Santa water? Christmas is over. Okay. Oh my God, chicken. It's not mysterious wall chicken. It's mysterious grass chicken. It's the grass fed chicken at Whole Foods. This is where they get those grass-fed chickens that you get at Whole Foods right here. This is where they harvest them. So as you can tell, they really got to go through some effort to get those from this demonic monster infested like wasteland into your local Whole Foods. That's why they're so expensive, but it's so worth it because they're free of hormones. They're free of any pesticides. It's just, you know, like it's just chickens grazing in like fields of like bats and the undead. It's cool. Cause that's how they make the world a better place. Oh my God. <sighs> well, this is a video game. 
Uh, okay, I'm going to try this one more time. One more time. Give it one more run. I was clearly... I did not understand the mechanics of the game. Let's just play some video games right here. Let's kill some undead zombies and vampires and whatnot. Ah... Uh, I don't get this game too much. It looks cool, but like, oh, gee, maybe do I, I think I got to go somewhere. I wonder, maybe I've just been wandering around in circles. Maybe if I go up, I'll reach Dracula's castle. I feel like I'm passing over the same stuff. This is some Bermuda Triangle type shit. What? The oh, my God. I don't need weapons. I need bug spray. Like this, this, this. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't think I can go anywhere. Get away from me! No! Okay. Well, that was Vampire Survivors, which I had a ton of fun playing just now. Screw this! I'm gonna get drunk! Oh, yeah. Love you guys. Have a great weekend.